Welcome today to 66 of the 300 Movie Challenge. <laughs> today... <laughs> today we slept through the highest grossing film of July 2016, which was The Secret Life of Pets that no one wanted to know of. I can vouch for the sleeping through movie part. <laughs> So I I realized something pretty early on. Okay. This is Toy Story. Yeah, I thought that. This is the oh, plot of Toy Story. Yeah, that is true. Like exactly. Yep. This is I Toy think Story. the only difference is that the dog was like adopted and everything, but even then, that's kind of it's like... It's the same idea. It's literally like yeah. the guy who like thinks, you know, thinks all oh, the owner loves him and like everything's great, but then the new dog, sh the new th guy shows up and oh no, the owner loves him now and he's mad, so therefore it, it, hijinks and they oh. run away and get into trouble and people go out to save them and then they all meet up and everything's happy, perfect at the end. It's literally fucking Toy Story. Yeah, so it is. It's like, right, actually. literally, when we were talking, okay, right before talking about this, we were thinking about ranking it, and I was like, is this better or worse than Watchers vs. Aliens? And Tara was like, well, this, like, has a plot, and I'm like, well, hold on, let me save it. Save something for what I'm about to say. And so, what I'm about to say is that, yeah, it has a plot, it stole Toy Story's plot. So, yeah, that's which... not a, go a positive. <laughs> no. So, no. no. And, and then, okay. advertising in this movie. Very. Okay. The. This movie is less than 90 minutes long. But it felt so long. No, I realized though. what it was. I realized what it was. They, God. if you like, look at every individual scene. They stretch the scenes out, like that is so true. much. So they they have like jokes or like things that they hold on for like a really long time. It's like if you were to actually like edit edit this into a movie. Okay. You could edit this movie to a point where literally nothing plot-wise was lost, but it would be like 30 minutes long. Because you would just take out all of the things that have literally nothing to do with anything. Like think, That's true. Think to the like ending. Like the whole Wiener factory scene. Well, no, okay, that, no, also, even the like, ending. The when, introduction thing. Oh, well, right, and then the ending when the when the dogs like come back into the house or whatever, they show like 15 different fucking pets like meeting their owners, like half of which weren't even in the story. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. they, you have so little to tell that you need to pad out your time just to, like, make it, like, an 85-minute movie. Which, because, again, it's, like, 87 minutes or something, I think. So, like... Wait, it was, it was under 90 minutes? It was under 90 minutes with the padding. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God, come on. Elimination, fucking God damn it. Okay, and, just that insult injury. So, we saw Finding Dory last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the last Pixar movie we will ever see. And you know what? We mm. still have another Illumination film to see. I hate all of you people who watch Despicable Me 3. Yeah, so, especially, yeah. and we're just gonna spoil this right now, because fuck it. So, yes, we're watching Despicable Me 3, and that came out the same month as Wonder Woman, and you fucked it up. So thanks a lot. <sighs> you people the, suck. Like, currently the only good DC film and we're not even watching it for the challenge. Yep. Salty. And the thing is, Ooh, we Uncle totally... Man looks good. Well, I've heard it's, like, mixed, but whatever. I've heard uh, it's not terrible, so... But, like... So, by definition, <laughs> it's good for DC. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's already, like, the second best DC film. Anyway, okay, whatever. So, um... But the thing is, when we, you know, we when we plan this out, we... Because we started planning in, like, early-ish 2017, so we were kind of figuring, okay, what's the film going to be for, like, each of these months that we're going to be seeing, right? And so mm -hmm. we we were, like, kind of careful about, like, okay, we can't just, like, jump the gun and assume one thing is going to win when, like, something else might come and beat it later, right? But so mm -hmm. we were like, okay, Wonder Woman did super well. It's going to easily beat, you know, win for June. It's, like, by the end of June, even into July, we're like, yeah, it's still winning by a good amount. Despicable Me 3 beat it, like, near the end of July. So... Like, basically, we had to wait, like, and Wonder Woman came out, like, early June, so basically we had to, we, there was, like, a time of over, like, of, like a month, where we were like, oh, yeah, we're totally gonna see Wonder Woman, everything's fine, and then, no, the Spickle Me 3 comes, this fucking shit's all over the bed, and, like, now we gotta lie in that bed, so, fucking hell, I can't do the laundry, because you sat in the bed, and the laundry washing machine, so, oh I'm God. mad. 
Ugh, there's actually so kind of... We were lured into a false sense of security. Exactly, and so because of that, now we're, like, super careful about, like, oh, is it, was it gonna be this film or this or whatever? And there has been, like, some times where we, like, after that, we're, we were pretty convinced, like, oh, this thing's gonna win, and then it didn't. Um, I mean, actually, the month that we're in right now, well, actually, no, we're not in this month anymore. Uh, but February 2019, we're current, is what, well, it's, like, March 2nd right now. But 3rd, depending on who we're talking to right now. Um, but... So we're looking at the February, what's going to win February 2019, and currently, it is literally like a 2 million difference between the, the top two movies for February. So <laughs> it's like, okay, and the problem is we're actually going to have to see this in theaters, so it's like, well shit, when do we like decide to, to make the decision? Because it's just like, <laughs> ah, how's that going to work? But anyway, this movie, um, what else to talk about for this? It sucked. Uh, it padded itself yeah. out to barely be 87 minutes long, and the bunny was voiced by Kevin Hart, and it was really annoying. And the main dog was voiced by Louis C.K. And once I realized that, I was like, got really distracted because I just kept picturing him, like, in a recording booth, just like saying the lines and having this look on his face. Like, I can't believe I'm doing this shit because I'm sure that's what he was thinking this whole time. He's probably just like, it's money, I don't care. And then, uh, fucking, what's her name? The, the Pomeranian looks like a cat. Weather. Looks like, you know, fucking Bell is Bellwether. And her voice, like, is more annoying in this. Because she has, like, and she had the same quality with Bellwether, where it's, like, a very kind of breathy voice, but, like, it's more annoying here for some reason, probably just because it's a more annoying movie. It's probably because you hear her more often. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, because in the previous movie, she kind of had more of a minor role up until the end. Yeah. And then there was something else that I was... that I thought I you knew. Oh, well, fucking... Uh, whatever, I don't care, it's just stupid. It's literally just fuck like Waffle Toy movie. Story. Fuck you guys who saw this movie. What else came out in July 2016? Star Trek. Wait, really? Mm. Yep. Oh, really? Is this, was this the Star Trek, was it Beyond? I don't that remember, it, it was one of the Star up. Trek movies. Um, there were some other Beyond. things. I actually, I I actually saw that in theaters. Um, Wait, what? Really? If it was Star Trek Beyond, that's what it Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. fine. It was, oh, the, the fucking shit like Ghostbusters reboot. Okay. Jason Bourne. We <laughs> okay, I've heard. I've heard. I mean, I've heard Jason Bourne's pretty bad. Oh. Oh, hey, that propaganda film by Dinesh D'Souza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Killing Joke thing. Oh. Okay. Wait. Star Trek came out during July. I mean, okay. To be fair, that Star Trek movie's not great. Like, it's just kind of. Eh, but like, so what I would you're rather watch it. that there, what there isn't even anything that we could hope could beat this film. Well, again, start. Well, I see. How much money did this Star Trek movie? And then I assume this is up here just because they released it early in some special place or something. Okay, so yeah, so eh, fucking eight hundred seventy-five mil. Oh my god, Star Trek Beyond. Wow, only three hundred forty. Wow, that wow. sucks. Damn. I knew, like, it wasn't- it didn't do, like, super well, just because, again, it, like, was just kind of okay, but... I- I like at least the- the first of the newish Star Trek films, the 2009 one, that's a legitimately good movie, and... Into Darkness was- uh, I don't really remember it, like, that well. I know it's kind of has some mixed things about it, so I might want to, like, see it again, but, like... Yeah, the third one is just kind of forgettable, but... Still better than this complete waste of time, even though it was less than 90 minutes, it still was a waste of time. I want my time back. I... <laughs> Can I at least say that I took a nap? Yeah, that's a good thing for you. I didn't. I shiny hunted, so... Um, let, let's sense. undercut this movie by just undercutting the discussion because there's nothing to talk about. There we go. So It's utter trash. Oh, speaking of things that are... We have no redeeming qualities, the next movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Will it uh, be better or worse than this? Uh, no. <laughs> this year was really good for like the first half. It was going so well. It was. And then it just died. And then, yeah, now we're dead. Thanks okay. a lot, Illumination, for taking a big dump on the bed. Yeah, <laughs> shit, the bed. <laughs> well, I just, when I'm like annoyed and tired, I just like say things that don't make sense. <laughs> I should write a fucking movie at this rate, goddamn. I was gonna say, it should be rather that there is just all these Cheeto stains all over the bed. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, okay. No, because the minions. 
Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Yeah. I was, <laughs> I was like, why am I eating Cheetos in bed? Like, I was really confused. No, because <laughs> okay. minions are like little corn pops. <laughs> I don't even really like popcorn kernels all over your bed. And I don't even really like Cheetos or popcorn, so whatever. <laughs> Drown in it. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so nothing that we've devolved into this. We've talked nothing about the film, but who cares? It was a waste of time. No one gives a shit. Just fucking bye. Bye! Yes. Bye.